Hey Divination, in today's video, we're gonna show you how to combine Divi's background gradient builder with background masks and patterns to create a beautiful background design. Here's a quick look at the design we'll build in this tutorial. You can download the layout for free from the blog post linked in the video description. To get started, let's create a two column row. In the left column, I added some modules and you can grab those settings by downloading the layout. However, in today's video, we are going to focus on the background design. In order for our background design to fill the browser, we need to add some vertical height to the section. So open the section settings, go to design, spacing, and for top padding, we're gonna make that 10 VW, and the bottom padding, 30 VW. Keep in mind, you may need to adjust the padding on tablet and phone if you want to adjust the background design once the columns stack vertically. Now we can add our custom background gradient to the section. So go to the content tab, background, and press background gradient. Now just press the plus icon. We're going to change the first one to FA8BFF, and we'll change the position to 10%. To add our second gradient stop, just press anywhere on the bar and drag it over to 30%. Now we're gonna click on that and change the color to 2BD2FF and save that. Let's add another one and make this one 55% and then press it and change the color to 2 b FF88. Let's add another and make this one 80% and change the color to 2BD2FF. Now for the final gradient stop, which was added as a default color, we're going to leave it at 100%, but change the color itself to FA8BFF. We're going to leave gradient type as linear, but we're going to change our direction to 90 degrees. Now that our background gradient is ready, we can add a background pattern to complement the design. So simply hover over background pattern, press that, and press the plus icon. In this example, we are going to create a subtle pattern using diamonds in a unique way. So let's go ahead and select diamonds. And then for pattern color, we're gonna select the white, which is gonna make all the values 255. And then here at the end, we're going to change the 0 0.2 to 0 0.52 and then press the check icon. Now we're gonna scroll down a little bit more and we have a couple more options to change here. So first, we wanna change pattern size to custom size. This is where you can really get super creative. Now for the width, we want this to be eight pixels. And then the height, we want that to be 15 VW. This should give you an idea of just how creative you can get with the built-in patterns. With our background pattern in place, we are finally ready to add a background mask. So let's do that. These are just the default settings and it already looks great, but we're gonna go ahead and select the paint mask instead. Then for our color, we're gonna go with white and we're actually going to rotate this and change the mask size to cover. For a different look, you could actually go ahead and invert the mask. This will show more of the gradient in the background and make the text stand out a bit more. And don't forget, with this design in place, you could easily change patterns and masks with a few clicks for a completely new design. You can learn how to make a dark mode version by checking out the blog post linked in the video description. We also have links to a free gradient pack as well as 12 background mask and pattern designs you can get right now. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.